I've got my new two guard um, 4K dash cam here. Um, here's the camera itself, protected in a nice little bag, of course. Um, there's a little screw there for the mounts. You get two mounts with this camera and some control buttons on the side and on the other side as well. And I believe it has a touch screen. Here is the uh, cable, which is designed to be plenty long enough to plug in in the center of your um, car where the uh, charge point is, and then run through the trim up to the middle of the windscreen um, so that your cable's out of the way and everything. And this is one this is one of the mounts. This one is a suction mount. So you've got this little lever here which sucks it onto the window. Um, and there's a piece of protective uh, plastic here which you have to remove before you fit it. The thing swivels around and it's lockable with this collar here. Uh, and you can lock the camera on with this locking screw here once you've got it screwed into position. And here is another mount. This one is a stick-on mount which is designed for use on the dashboard. Obviously you could also use it on your windscreen if you wanted to. But in my experience, these sticky things, um, they say they're 3M VHB tape, but I, I have my doubts. Um, and they, might, they might well fall off a windscreen, but it could be quite good if you want to stick it on the dashboard, which some people want to do. And this is a short cable. This is really for transferring data files from your camera to your computer. And you also get a little packet here, which has in it some stick-on uh, cable clips for clipping the cable to your windscreen or whatever, and a little tool here, which is designed for um, pulling away the trim around the door of your car so you can stick the cable in behind it. I'll uh, show you that later on in the car. And there's the uh, book, and then there's a warning sign here you can stick to your car to say that there's a dash cam recording. And finally, a, um, a card for you to uh, send off to uh, let them know that you're happy or not. Um, so, next thing for me to do is to read the instructions, fit it in the car, and see how it goes. So here's a few stills. First of all, one taken with my phone off the camera and all the bits that come with it. And here's a couple taken on the camera itself, looking out of my back door in the snow, just to show you what the stills are like. And finally, there's going to be a few clips that I took while I was out driving yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Check. And, and then you clearly, you stated that you, you thought the Irish government was wrong in its approach to the backstop. Is there a way out for them now, given they've staked so much on it? That's one of the reasons I was very wary about it. Really big problem with this backstop. Either the British are going to have to swallow it, or the Irish and the EU side back down. We're in a very dangerous moment when we get into that kind of dynamic. Dan O'Brien, Martina Lawless. Thank you both. So it was a snowy day when I took these shots, as you can see. That bit of road's just wet, really, not particularly slippery. And uh, these shots, you should be seeing the number plates. I did when I zoomed out and viewed it as a full screen. I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like on the uh, Amazon site, because I know they do reduce the resolution of the videos. Um, but anyway, um, just to show you the sort of uh, thing that you can see. Again, uh, when I uh, stepped through this slowly, I could see the number plates. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see them in the edited video. And the guy ahead of me was a bit nervous because he'd slipped a couple of times. And there I am carefully avoiding a few pedestrians who were walking across the car park. And here I'm going up the hill. And again, you've got pedestrians walking in the road, which you tend to find when it snows. Um, sorry, there's no dark shots on this. I did originally put the uh, video, the camera in the car to take some dark shots, but uh, I wasn't able to do it that particular night. And because it was a snow day, we were all sent home at around about uh, one o'clock. I did hold on till about two, but even so, um, that was uh, as far as uh, as far as I got with it. And uh, you can see again, going up a hill here, quite a steep hill. No problems with the car, and more to the point, no problems with the camera. <laughs> 